Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, before commence, um, I, I want to thank you, uh, Roberto Alfonso, who realized the idea, the importance to organize this uh, session to honor uh, Tony Nanni and uh, even Liberato or Libe, as you know. <laughs> who have managed the roadmap to finalize this, uh, uh, this session. Before uh, going deep, deeply in, uh, in, in my speech, uh, I want just to highlight that the, as you've seen in, in the figure, the cement growth uh, as in parallel with the world uh, uh, growth World population uh, growth since at the end of the 90s of the uh, of the last centuries. What happens uh, at that time? The, the Chinese Republic decided to modernize the to the the country and in particular to increase the wellness of the of the Chinese people by increasing the Mm, space per capita by seven square meter to about 35 square meter and this means uh, great consumption in, uh, in cement. Take into account that China in uh, just three years uh, since 2011-2013 has consumed the same cement that the United States consumed along the entire last the entire last century anyway at the moment the <coughs> production of uh, cement in the world is about 4.2 giga gigatons and uh, the rate for replacement of, uh, of portland clinker in cement is about 25 percent so this means that uh, we now we produce 2.8 uh, for transmit and use um, about 1.2 gigaton fillers and other supplementary cementitious uh, material. The this industry emitting uh, globally about 38% uh, of the the 10 uh, gigaton of, uh, carbon dioxide emitted in the atmosphere. Atmosphere, atmosphere globally by construction activities. And this correspond approximately to 450 kilo per, uh, uh, per capita. Uh, despite, however, despite the strong environmental impact of uh, cement production at the moment, my, my personal view, but even uh, that of the main stakeholders in the in the construction field, that no materials seems to be able to replace uh, the cementitious concrete at low economic uh, economic cost. So the replacement of Portland-based concrete uh, appears unlikely uh, in the next 50 years. Um, some other figures, the demand in terms of uh, cement in 2030s is estimated to be 4.8 uh, gigaton. So if you take into account that the fly ash available in the world is not more than 1.5 gigaton, uh, blast furnace uh, only uh, 0.3 uh, gigaton, the demand for uh, cement in uh, 2030s is 3 gigaton and taking into account the replacement rate of uh, with natural porcelain and in particular with limestone filler um, estimated around 0.75 gigaton and uh, including also other binders such as sulfuruminated cement estimated uh, to be reduced in, in about 0.25 gigaton in 2030. Anyway, we will need um, a clinker, a Portland clinker, not less than uh, two 
giga, uh, two gigaton. So it's not possible, in my view, to replace Portland cement. And uh, many people forget that this, uh, this industry is uh, very hard to CO2, uh, very hard to uh, abate because the emission of CO2 depends not only by the uh, combustion of fuels, but uh, it is in the process of, uh, of cement production, in, in particular in the calcination of lime used as uh, raw material in cement uh, production. I would remind that the percentage of CO2 emitted as a consequence of the calcination process is 65%. So if we at the moment, uh, in a miraculistic uh, way, we, we will uh, have uh, green uh, fuel, we um, can have all this, anyway, we can have 65% of uh, uh, CO2 emitted in the atmosphere as a consequence of the, the, the calcination process. So the future in this field is the capture of uh, CO2. We cannot uh, avoid this and we are uh, working uh, hard on this uh, on this field. There are many projects in, uh, in the world studying this process. One of these is the Ita an Italian project, Clean, Clean Care. Uh, uh, and in this process, uh, we are using the calcium looping technology, uh, which consists in, uh, in capture the CO2 by a uh, sorbent, um, usually based on calcium or magnesium uh, carbonate, and then the, uh, the CO2 capture is uh, used inside the process as uh, raw, uh, as, as raw uh, material. Uh, for this reason, uh, despite the big interest in university in research on the on new alternative uh, binder, the opinion of many, uh, the opinion of many uh, other researchers other, other than myself is that in the future, not more than five percent of the cementitious material demand can be uh, replaced by alternative uh, alternative material. Uh, but at the same time, we have to take in, into account that only 70% uh, of uh, the cement produced is used to manufacture concrete, but many uh, cement is used for, for special application and uh, probably the use of alternative material is in this special application and I want to show you just three of uh, uh, possibility. One of these is based on the use of calcium sulfaluminate. Uh, this uh, clinker is uh, more environment, environmentally friendly with, with Portland cement since the temperature in the kiln is uh, very low, 1,200 uh, C, and uh, also the clinker, the clinker is uh, easy to, to mill. So this means uh, low emission in terms of CO2 and in consumption of the energy. But the main problem of the calcium sulfaluminate cement is that it is used in combination with Portland cement. Uh, typical composition is 40% of Portland cement, 40% of calcium sulfaluminate, and the rest, the 20%, are uh, gypsum. And in this way, the advantage in terms of uh, environmental parameter is very limited since we can reduce not more than 10% in terms of. Uh, uh, global warming potential and gross energy requirement. For this reason, we have proposed to replace totally for transmit by using the slag and um, MF, um, little percentages of calcium hydroxide, 
uh, we can uh, manage the workability retention by added, adding a, a tartaric acid. So uh, this allows to transport, blazing and uh, vibrating. The, the concrete, uh, from a mechanical point of view, as you see in this figure, the compressive strength of this mixture is very similar to uh, uh, that of uh, Portland uh, limestone, Portland-based uh, concrete. But more importantly, as you see in the figure, is the stability of this mixture. The etringite uh, structures of, um, <clears throat> of uh, coming to the coming from the hydration of calcium sulfaluminate uh, and it presents an expansive behavior as you see in a humid environment but more importantly at 60 percent relative humidity we have um, substantially zero shrinkage so this means that we can uh, we can build uh, pavement without uh, without joints, and uh, another interesting thing is uh, the procedure to, uh, for this cement, for this concrete is completely different. It doesn't uh, uh, need any wet curing, uh, and uh, otherwise the uh, performance of uh, uh, the performance in uh, in in. Uh, dry environment are better than those detected in uh, uh, in, in uh, <clears throat> wet uh, condition. As you see, the reduction both in terms of global warming potential and gross energy requirement are significantly higher with respect to the transmit. Just few, just one, I, I need just one minute more. Um, about the alkali activated slag based, based plaster. We um, prepared a uh, plaster for the restoration of the existing uh, masonry buildings. Um, the target was to achieve a 10 megapascal in uh, compressive strength. So we uh, adapted the formulation uh, in terms of uh, aggregate uh, binder ratio, we added uh, modified starch and methyl cellulose to, to improve the workability. And then uh, we add uh, also uh, fiber and expansive agents and uh, shrinkage reduce, uh, reducing a mixture based on a, a glycol ethylene. And as you see, we reduce the shrinkage of about uh, 50 50 percent so we uh, produce a plaster with um, in terms of environmental parameter as you see the the global warming potential was about uh, 50 kilogram per uh, of co2 per cubic meter and the uh, energy demand was uh, about 500 megajoule per um, per cubic meter. In this circle, you see the uh, commercial product that are available in the in the market, and as you see, the environmental impact of the cement-based renders prepaid cement-based render is very very high, since the emission of CO2 is four times higher and the consumption of energy is two times and a, uh, and a half. So uh, we have different possibility. The, I don't, I cannot show you because my time yes, has, 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 has finished it, but uh, it's, it's, it's possible to, for instance, to produce even pervious concrete uh, without using Portland cement and uh, replacing totally the natural aggregate with recycled ones. And as you see in this figure, the advantages in terms of, um, of environmental uh, parameters uh, at the same compressive strength, uh, at the same permeability of the material. Thanks uh, for your attention Thank you. and sorry for the... Thank you.